Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Neculescu and you know me for a lot of integration with the UiPath. We have the Salesforce, ServiceNow Connector, Jira, Confluence and so on. And on the last period I did a lot of video how to start um, um, UiPath robots from different uh, softwares. And today I will make a resume of this one to put all the softwares together. So we are able to start um, in my videos um, uh, UiPath the pro the process from uh, Postman, uh, Gmail, Outlook, Oracle, Apex, Salesforce, ServiceNow, NetSuite, Grovey, Python, G, uh, GS, uh, Node.js, and Google Go. Yeah? Let's uh, see each stuff. So, on the description on the, this movie, you will find the link for everything, yeah? So first, as you see, it's Postman. For Postman, there are two, uh, uh, two, uh, two options. So you have here how to start it from the Postman, Postman on the cloud UiPath.com. And there is a lot of clients that use uh, uh, on-prem. So here you have a video how to start um, from Postman on, um, uh, on-prem, yeah, on, when you have orchestrator on-prem. And here you have Postman UiPath rocks that it's the best site for the, uh, for these comments yeah so for all the comments the recommendation is to go here check your command and um, um, test it from here yeah good now let's take uh, let's go to the uh, do the second one so this was postman that you'll do for testing your connection it's better to do it first time in postman and then go further now gmail for gmail you have two videos you have this video, start your iPad, process from Gmail. And there is a connection video with Google, uh, Google uh, App Script, yeah? So first you write something on Google App Script. And here on Gmail, you will have a trigger that uh, includes, so all my uh, videos will include the code. So you have here the code. You can go on GitHub and download the code, yeah? So on my GitHub here, you have the, the code for um, uh, all the videos that I show here with uh, Node.js, um, Go, and so on. So all the code, you'll find it uh, here on the GitHub, yeah? So, like I said, for Google, you have uh, two videos, one for Google Apps to show a demonstration how you write from Google Apps. And then here you have the trigger from Gmail, how to 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 call the process and send data to the uh, to the robot. It's going with cloud. If you want to do it with uh, um, with on-prem, you follow the Postman on-prem and you switch to that. Good. So you have Gmail and Google Script. Then you have Outlook. On Outlook, basically here you have a complex video where um, you have uh, uh, how to start the process from Outlook. Uh, the idea is like this. Uh, Power Automate will intercept when an email arrives and then uh, uh, we'll log into the orchestrator, send a command to the orchestrator, wait for the command uh, for the um, orchestrator to execute the job, take the data and respond to the email. Regarding this uh, uh, movie, you also have to look on how to start a new iPad robot from Power Automate, yeah? And you have another movie here on how to uh, write an, um, a data to the queue of Power Automate. Okay, good. That was Power Automate. Next was Oracle Apex. Okay, so Oracle Apex, it's, um, it's here. So Oracle Apex, it's an application and this will start the UiPath assistance, yeah? So you have the, uh, so will not work with the orchestrator. This will work with the UiPath assistant, which is here somewhere. Uh, I have to write it. And uh, this uh, uh, UiPath, assistant uh, so basically this will start the uipath assistant so i have a job on my pc on the uipath assistant i go to oracle, oracle apex and the system will be able to trigger via robot.js an, um, an, um, an, uh, an uipath assistant process good next we will talk about salesforce good so on salesforce we are able to trigger in two ways first you can start a process from Salesforce. Here you have the video to be able to start a process from Salesforce on the orchestrator cloud. So Salesforce will uh, have on the request 
will have an, um, uh, so when you do a trigger, when you, for example, an opportunity is changed to, uh, um, uh, from uh, uh, pending to win, uh, to close over one, yeah, this will trigger a process on the orchestrator cloud and so on, yeah. And the second video, it's here, you have also for UAPAT assistance. Salesforce can start a process on UAPAT assistance on your PC. So you have here a video, how Salesforce interface can start a, pro, uh, a process on your UAPAT assistant. Let's go further and talk about ServiceNow. On ServiceNow, basically you have business rules. So you have a business rules or so when something is happening in, on the incident and so on, you define a business rule and um, uh, this will trigger the UAPAD robot and the UAPAD robot also can respond to, to this one. You have a script here as usual on my movies. You have the script here inside of the description. Next one, it's NetSuite. Again, the same stuff. You have a script on the, on the NetSuite that will trigger a process. Good, so you have the video here with uh, NetSuite, how to trigger a process. Uh, it's somewhere here, we will uh, see uh, here, yeah? How to start it from, uh, from NetSuite. Then you have all the details. Now, next one, it's Grovy. Now, this Grovy, it's, um, it's a programming language. The idea is like this. Um, Jira and uh, Jenkins, for example, they use Grovy to call stuff, yeah? So that's why I create this um, uh, uh, script on Grovy and this will be able to, uh, to be used on the uh, integration with uh, Jira, Jenkins, and maybe other software that use Grovy. So here you have this um, video with uh, Grovy and how you can start a process from Grovy, like I said, that can use on Jira, Jenkins, and other software. Then next one, Python. Yeah, so it's a classic one. So how to start because you can put a lot of Python script in a lot of places. So I showed you, I show you in this movie how to call an orchestrator from, um, from Python and how to give, uh, get uh, the data back. Next one is Java, uh, JavaScript. JavaScript, the idea is uh, it's how to use the robot GS, yeah? So JavaScript will call the, uh, the assistant, yeah? You will we'll call the assistant here. If, if you write uh, robot uh, GS, my colleagues have, um, uh, have examples here with, uh, with, uh, with the robot GS. And uh, I also made a movie based on uh, these uh, examples of my, uh, um, my colleagues from UAPAT. You say robot GS, UAPAT. Yeah, so I did um, a uh, full example of this robot GS. Next, let's see what we have. We have not GS, yes, because a lot of application use JavaScript and you need to use JavaScript to be able to make a call rest, uh, on REST API. I prefer to make an, uh, a call from Node.js to show the uh, uh, to show all the people how to um, be able to execute this with uh, with uh, REST API. So you go here and basically you'll find um, a code that you'll be able to use on a lot of JavaScript application. Yeah, you'll see how to make calls to the uh, uh, to our orchestrator. And the last one. It's uh, Google Go, so it's a very funny language from Google, and I also implement um, here an, um, uh, uh, a script on Google Go, how to call a robot from the orchestrator. Okay, so that's the idea. Uh, that are the, these are the software that uh, are, um, uh, are implemented by me to start uh, UAPAD robots please contact me on the YouTube or LinkedIn and ask me what else you want to see on my channel and what other implementation you want to see on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and have a good one. Bye-bye.